All right, guys, go to Boy 32 here, check it out. We're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack, and I'm getting ready to take this barrel. This is the Proof Research. This is our 16-inch stainless steel 1-8 twist. Now, this was on the full Monty. Now, if you guys saw the video <laughs> last night, uh, yeah, this thing is a dirty beast. And what we're going to do, because we just signed up to shoot the uh, USPSA uh, Multigun Nationals down in Florida, in uh, June, June 14th. It's a three day event. I'm very excited. I got my good friend Rob, uh, Pops Quest, and I are going to shoot that together. Hopefully, we get the team train wreck together. So, anyway, uh, we got to get this thing back up and running. And in to order to do so, because I think it's fouled up pretty good, we're going to clean it out. So, I'm not going to bore you guys with the cleaning process, but what we want to do is before and after. Now, if you want to know, the products that I use are the uh, Bortec. I use the copper remover as well as I use the carbon remover. And what this is going to do is it's going to basically wash this barrel clean. We're going to get rid of all the carbon. We're going to get rid of all the copper, which means we need to build back the copper equilibrium and bring it back in and hopefully pick out some ammunition that this particular firearm will like. Now, the reason the barrel is sitting here, in most cases, I just take the upper and I would do it like this. Uh, the barrel, we're putting a new handguard on this thing, the JP uh, M-Lock series, which is really nice. Uh, this gives me the opportunity to really inspect the barrel also. So I've got it mounted up here in my little vice block. or not. What, this is actually the uh, Caldwell Precision turret press. And what this does is it gives me the ability that I can lock that barrel into place. And then we can go ahead and clean it out. And I bought one of these trays, this tray right here. You get these at Ikea for like $2, and they're awesome. So I don't want to bore you again with the details of cleaning it, but what we do is we do a carbon remover, and then we do the copper remover, and we clean the barrel really, really good. So I've got my trusty uh, Teslong. This is like a damn NASCAR commercial. Teslong Borescope by the boys over there at Teslong. Anyway, you can get this. I'll put the link down below in the store. Uh, if you guys are interested, every day I'm going to put up a different product of some things that I have bought over the last couple of years in the community area. Also, got some clothing downstairs. All right, let's do this. So the first thing I'm going to do, we're going to hit the play button on our recorder here. And we've got our 90 degree mirror. And I'm going to show you some things. Um, this guy is filthy. Look at that. That's the back side of the receiver barrel receiver and it is just filthy so let's go ahead and bring it up you can see i got some hairs in there we're going to roll up into the chamber and the breech and we'll see the landings now the uh, a proof research barrel is uh, actually hand lapped and these things and they're cut they're not button pulled so the accuracy is there as you can see very smooth, but we're going to run into a lot of carbon up here in the near future. And I'm hoping that once we clean all that out, this barrel is going to be right back to where it needs to be. So we'll take a look at it. And again, what I'm doing is a before and after, and we'll take it out and we'll shoot it this week after we mount the new handguard on it. Uh, yesterday, one of the guys asked a question, how did I remove the barrel? There's the uh, gas port right there. Uh, what I had to do is I had to actually uh, heat it up and then use a one inch dowel to wood dowel to knock the barrel out of the receiver. And it came out really good. I use uh, uh, Loctite 609 green. If the barrel doesn't need to be thermal fit, then we'll go ahead and seal it up with that stuff. As you can see, there's the uh, crown at the end of the barrel, 20 degree. We'll pull it back through. But anyway, good looking barrel. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and clean it up. And in a couple minutes, I will go ahead and... That's pretty. We'll clean that also. We'll go ahead and do an after after we clean it up. But the cool thing is, this tray right here catches all the good stuff. And we use a carbon fiber rod like this with a jag. And we'll use to go ahead and we'll soak it with a uh, a little foamy brush, get it good and wet, let it sit there, and then we'll run a wire through it. And then uh, after that, we'll go ahead and start cleaning it with the Jags. 
So anyhow, that's it. Uh, we'll see you back in a few minutes. Stand by. All right, so we finished up with the uh, the board tape. This is the carbon remover and ran a couple swaps through it. I've got a foam or uh, what do you call one of these things, the soft deal. Just saturated it and let it sit there for a second. But what I wanted to do was show you guys what it looks like now. That we have not removed any of the copper. Really doesn't have looked appeared to be a lot of copper buildup. But here we go. There's the land. And what I want to do is I'm going to bring it up. I want to show you the gas port. But in any case, check that out. I love these barrels. They just shine. They don't have any cross cuts. Everything is running long ways. And the cool thing about where the gas port is located right there is in between the lands. It's in the groove. But you can see right there how good. Now we got a little bit of carbon right there, which probably still need to go ahead and run a couple swabs to it. But I wanted to give you a real quick idea of what this thing looks like after a good cleaning before and after. But look at that. Let's follow that lamb down. Very nice. A little bit of carbon right there. That's actually copper. Boom. All right. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and run the copper remover through it and uh, get that done. I'll be right back. Here we go. All right. So we went ahead and I have uh, taken the copper out of this barrel. Let's take a look and see how it uh, <laughs> came out. Now, this is the first part of this deal. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to put the new handguard on it, then we'll take it out and check for accuracy with the uh, hand loads. Now, I've got a whole bunch of matching brass over there that we're going to go ahead and load up and see how it looks. All right, so here we go. We're going to, I did uh, spend some time on the barrel receiver. You can see it looks a lot better. Let me see something here. Yeah. A lot, lot better. All right, let's move forward. We'll go vertical. We're going to have it pointed straight up. And I'm following the lands. I'm just trying to see if anything looks stupid. And right now, I'll tell you this, man. The, these barrels are some of the best out there. And, uh, you know, other than like your Kriegers and the other ones, White Oak makes a good barrel. Every time I mention something, somebody says, White Oak. And I know they do. <laughs> But yeah, we got her cleaned up pretty good. It concerns me that the barrel really wasn't that bad. But uh, we'll put some different rounds down range on this thing. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about getting this rifle back up and running and taking it down to Florida next month. That looks real good. Wow, man, that's a good looking barrel. Very nice. Okay, well that stuff did a great job cleaning that thing up. We're gonna go ahead and put the handguard on it. That'll be a different video. And then we'll just kind of make this into a neat little series here. But I'll tell you this, the cool thing about uh, Bortec is it is uh, no ammonia, so I don't have to worry about passing out my shop here. Number two, it's environmentally friendly. And it's safe to your barrel, so you can do it all the time. You don't have to worry about destroying your barrel. So anyway, guys, that's it. Another boring video, but uh, I hope you learned something that uh, we we're going to find out. And I'm hoping that this barrel comes into its own. So let's go ahead and put this bad boy back together and uh, see how it runs. I'm good, uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. Support the Constitution as is written by our founding fathers 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. Uh, subscribe and all that other cool stuff. I am out of here. Y'all be good.